Hey, it's Byron with Auto Break. A lot of people are asking, what is Auto Break? How does it work? Why do I need it? What does it do? If you have a trailer that has electric brakes, you have to have a brake control to communicate to those brakes and make them work. Up to now, they've all been installed inside the tow vehicle, under the dash, in the dash, screwed in, in the wires. They call them knee knocker units for a reason. And we decided we wanted to take everything out of the tow vehicle and put it on the trailer where we feel it belongs. So this is not the be all end all, but it's a viable solution that's not been there before. A lot of new vehicles have new electronics, computers, wiring, they're very complex. And some people just don't want anything inside the tow vehicle and that's where Autobrake comes into play. It's a very simple install. Once it's on the trailer, you never need to do anything with it. So five wires, brake, ground, power, and turn signals. And the beauty of auto brake is you can mount it anywhere on the trailer you like. There's unlimited options. I've had people put them inside a storage cabinet, put them inside a toolbox, put them under the frame, on the side of the frame. Auto brake will work in any direction at any angle. So there's no need to have it mounted in the direction of travel, part of the beauty of it. This trailer here has a junction box in the front. Most people are electing to wire right into the junction box. So you'll match your wires up on the auto brake to the wires on your, on your trailer and then you're ready to mount auto brake on the frame or in the cabinet or wherever you're going to put it. In this case, I'm just going to show it mounted on the frame. Once auto brake is on here, we'll go through the install video. That'll be the next one. But once it's on here, it's very easy to adjust. Uh, the first time you calibrate it, you're going to hold these two buttons down for about four seconds. This LED light is going to blink through a cycle and now auto brake knows it's new home. Once these lights are done flashing, it's calibrated once. You only need to calibrate it once unless you move it to a different position on the trailer or move it to a different trailer. It just needs to understand where my new home is. Once auto brake is on your trailer, you're ready to plug in and just tow down the road. There's three settings. It'll work on one, two, and three axle trailers. Another beauty about auto brake is that many tow vehicles already have brake controllers installed. So let's say that I loan you my trailer and you already have a brake controller in your tow vehicle. As soon as you plug your trailer into your tow vehicle, Auto Brake will pick up on that signal and it'll shut itself off. So you don't need to disable anything, you don't need to disconnect anything, it'll do everything on its own. Now you're getting ready to tow down the road. I'm driving, gee, I wonder if it works. Well, Auto Brake comes with a key fob. And what this key fob allows you to do, just like most new things, people want to mess with it. Hey, is it working? What is it doing? You'll hit this button on the key fob and you'll feel your trailer brakes pulse. It'll be like a very slow ABS, boom, 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 and you'll feel that tug, so you'll know it's working. This also comes in handy in a trailer sway situation. So you're going down the road, you're starting to get some trailer sway, it's a windy day. You'll hit this key fob and it'll apply the trailer brakes without applying the vehicle brakes. So another option that's there. Once auto brake has been set the first time, and let's say on a camper like this, it's not going to have a variable weight, it's the same weight all the time. Once it's on that setting, it'll remember that setting all the way through. So, for instance, this trailer here, this is mine. It sits in the winter for four or five months until we get good weather. When I go to hook up in the spring, I don't need to change the settings. I don't need to do anything. It remembered where it was the last time. All I need to do is plug in and go. And that's where Auto Break come, came into play, and that's the whole idea. We wanted something that was simple, safe, reliable, and really, quite frankly, I don't want to mess with anything. I want to hook my trailer up and leave and get to my destination. And that's what Auto Break does. We're right behind you, Auto Break.